Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, well, we got congratulated by our one-eyed, scruffy werewolf friend here. You have done well, Sphinx, but I cannot help you any further. Eh, that's okay. I think you've done plenty. Now we're off to see the Geb Queen about the crown. What I can only assume is a boss fight. So that one felt like it would take that long. That's about right. I need to make an adjustment to something. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot about that. Right after I, uh, push the record button to, uh, stop recording, I heard the sound of assholes teleporting in. Slain! Assumed as much. Ah! Just checking. Um. Oh, that's just, that's I can't knock that over. That's just the. Hmm. I didn't. That wasn't a good idea. I mean, it's literally the only way I can go. Hmm. Tick. What the fuck is that? Maybe there's somewhere I can go somewhere else. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can... Or no, this is where I came from. Maybe I can faff around long enough to, uh... I even noticed that one over there. <laughs> to still be within reach of a uh, save point when the uh, <laughs> timer ends. Uh, I should be so lucky. Oh hell no! Nope! Right, I'm just going to kill you. I don't need to capture you alive. Oh, that wasn't wise. Death to the enemies of Sphinx! Huh, that came out a bit more hardcore than I intended. Yay! Boo! Oh no, I was meant to freeze one of those assholes. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Well, I certainly can't pick you up. Oh no! Don't stand there. Now I remember. Oh, 
when you get to plant hell... Actually, I can't think of anyone funny to say hello to, because I can't think of anyone else that would have gone to plant hell. Oh, I see how this is going to be a pain in the ass. To drop and throw and all that shit while I, you know, need to do this before it disappears. Oh, or this too. I'm just gonna run out of health. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, help. Okay, made that. That wasn't too bad. Oh, fuck's sake. Seems like it stays for a decent amount of time. Oh, fuck off. Why did I do that? I would have made that one anyway. Probably to save my own can. Why do you turn like that? Why don't you just turn around on the spot like I intended? Oh. Found something even better than a frozen enemy. Ooh, nice ambush. I'm not even, you know, annoyed by that. That was a good spot to do that, right next to the treasure chest. I never would have seen that coming. Get off me. Come on. I'm not that impressed. I mean, your execution is sloppy, obviously, because you didn't get me. Who'd have seen that coming? That'd be weird if it was, uh... Like a ham sandwich instead. Oh, no, it's over here. I think I can see the other one. Yeah, it's over there. Uh... That one. Ah! Fucking gnat, get out of my face! I will eat you if you keep flying right in front of me. He was trying to land on my eye a second ago. And we're reading once that that's actually a problem in the uh, desert. Insects trying to land on your face in order to drink the moisture from your eyes. Ugh. Oh yeah, the gold key. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's do this. Wait. Okay. Now we're ready. I assumed he meant, like, throw burbles at her. How about those bugs supposed to help me? How dare you enter the into the palace of the Geb Queen! You will pay the ultimate price for your insolence! Prepare to die! Oh, she's invincible. I don't like that. Mmm, no. Is that wood? I can't tell. Uh, I can't get up there. No, criminy. Nope, 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 don't like that. Okay, they're talking, they say bu things in the environment, do they mean that? The, the, the caged bugs up there? Because I can't get up there. Hmm, 
shield doesn't even work, even when I can hold it out. I didn't think that would work, but hey, worth a shot. No, those are not wood. Wow, I just have absolutely no idea what to do here. No wonder Geb Queen comes up and you, uh, as a recommended recommended search when you uh, put Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy into uh, Google. Wait, what am I not seeing? Step into your vomit and die. The end. Hmm. Ha! Prudent. I'm not even at full health. I'm not even at half health. Uh. Oh, it's can I say over here? Yeesh. Sorry about that. I, uh, needed to sneeze. <laughs> okay, I gotta be missing something. Okay, don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. That's a cool attack. I just don't like- Oh! No. Okay. Oh! Okay, yeah, that would do it. Ow! Uh... Are they hurting her? Is that what the trick was? I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to figure out let her hit you with that attack. Whatever the trick is, it doesn't seem to be working. And now they're going after me. Great. Oh, hey! Why is it so bad at actually hitting her? And I landed on the acid. No, oh, no, no, over here. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I assumed this would work. Oh, good. They're both dead. They're both dead. I only have one hit left. Oh. Out of my way! I don't know what his purpose is, but, uh, you know, fuck him. 
Come on, you goddamn fucking loading screen there. I can't believe how useful that was. I mean, I thought I was just saving the game in case, oh, you know, in case there's like a 20 minute thing behind a locked door. I can just say, well, you know, I'll only go back this far before I have to uh, keep going. Before I have to start again, I mean. I didn't think it would be, oh, you're, you know, if you die here, you go back to the last save point. I mean, it did happen before, but... Come on, this is a boss fight! There's no cutscene here? I mean, there's no, uh, checkpoint here, rather? Nope, nope, nope. How can you miss? So my mistake last time is only the lasers hit me. Oh, I was apparently immune to the acid. That's nice. Wonder how many times I have to hit her. Jump on her, you big fuckhead! Bite her goddamn ankles off! Combos don't seem to work. Oh, I've lost track. There she is. that. Excuse me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna kill your buddy. Thank you for that. Oh, sorry, I thought you were dead. Err. Please note that I have better health than when I walked in here. Nope. I don't like that sound. Ah, oh, jeez. No! Oh, this is a hot mess! Oh dear. Never say never. Someone just overcame the power of the Gib Queen. You may have defeated me, but Set will annihilate you. Your efforts were all for nothing. It's too late. You will never defeat him. Rest in peace, your majesty. Huh, those skeleton guys seem to be gone too. You got the sacred crown of Uruk. Hell yeah! This game can be frustrating, but I feel good about that. Another crown whose power you do not understand. 
The path that you choose is one of grave danger. Only the most determined hero, uh, only the most determined of heroes will succeed. I got distracted by the timer uh, going off. The prophecy is beginning to be realized at last, but will you be the one to bring about its conclusion? Take this gold onk as a reward for your achievement. This magic artifact has increased your health capacity by one onk and fully replenished your health. Sphinx, welcome back. The situation in Uruk Islands is very dire indeed. You know, when I heard the name Uruk Islands, I kind of assumed there'd be more water than in uh, the standard Uruk area. I see that Set himself was present at the ceremony. This is a disturbing uh, something. If he had known of your presence there, I'm sure he would have destroyed you. He's becoming more powerful as every moment passes. We weren't actually there. They just showed us a cutscene. Just saying. Despite such adversity, you managed to prevail and stop Set from completing his domination of Uruk. You are indeed proving to be a most worthy apprentice. You should inform Anubis of Set's involvement. He'll be most interested to learn that his nemesis has his plans for domination back in motion. Urukite Crown. The Sacred Crown of Uruk. Just checking I don't have the other one. Achievement unlocked. Sacred Crown of Uruk. Complete the second chapter. Hey, maybe I can uh, finish this in time after all. After all, I don't know how many Sacred Crowns there are. You know what? I'm... Oh, there's a save point right here. I was going to beam back to Abydos, because then I could save the game, and in the next session just beam over to Anubis' tower, but I'll just save here. There. That being done, I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans, when we present this crown to, uh, to Anubis, and find out the next stage of his plan. Later!